Here's a fun way to use evens and odds, also known as parity, to create cool pictures. All you'll need is here. Paper you can draw on, markers or other coloring items, and circles to trace. I'm recycling the lids of some old food containers for my project. We're going to make a design out of these circles and then color them in, but we're going to do this with a few rules. Number one, we don't want any area touching another area of its same color. And number two, we'll use the fewest number of colors possible. Can you make a design out of circles that you can color in completely without any area being side by side with another area of the same color? Think about it now. How many colors do you think you would need to use to do that for a picture like this? It may surprise you to learn that I can fill this in using only two colors and still have no two areas of the same color touching. Just to show you what I mean, here is the picture colored in with blue and green and as you can see the blue areas are touching and the green areas are touching. This is incorrect. In this picture, no two blue areas are touching and no two green areas are touching. This is correct. Could you do that with this shape? Yes, you actually can. These three circles make seven spaces, and as you can see, we can color them in using only two colors without two adjoining sides of the same color. Now what if we had a much more complex design? Could you color this whole design in without having two adjoining areas of the same color? How many colors do you think you would need to make that happen. It may surprise you, but you can color this whole crazy pattern in having no two areas side by side of the same color and still only use two colors and here's the proof of that. Drawing and coloring shapes like this is a fun, easy way to play with geometry. You can try it for yourself with paper, markers, and something shaped like a circle that you can trace. If you're using markers, make sure that you're going to keep the area clean, and also make sure that you have nice dark lines. It always looks better if the lines that you make are easy to see. Choose colors that you think will look nice together, and create your shapes, and fill them in like this. Why do you think this works? Every time you make these shapes, you can fit them together however you like, and the two color technique will always come out properly. Let's take a closer look at our shape to answer that. Pretend each line here is a fence. Count how many of them you would have to cross as you color in the shape. Starting from the outside and working our way in, we can count the lines we cross. Here. We are jumping over the first fence, here's the second, here's fence number three. Look at the numbers next to the colors where we see them. One and three are green, and two is blue. There's an important pattern here. Can you spot that pattern by looking at the more complex shapes with its areas numbered as well? Spaces one, three, and five are purple, and spaces two and four are orange. Now can you see the pattern? One, three, and five are odd numbers, and two and four are even numbers. Two lines that crisscross or intersect will always make an even number of areas. Since we're using circles, each line is curved around and intersects with the other line twice, or four times if it's an oval. This means that including the area around the shapes, there is always an even number of spaces to color. We can make fun, cool looking art with this and practice seeing how the geometry of the circles can create this colorful effect. Before we finish up though, let's talk about adding more colors. How can we make a shape that requires three colors to be filled in without two adjoining areas having the same color? Look at these shapes. The lines don't intersect and they create an odd number of spaces. What if we wanted to make a shape that required four colors? We'd need to have an even number of spaces again, so we could start with a three color shape and then add another shape around it. And this is as far as we can go. No matter how complicated we make the shape, we will always be able to use four colors to fill it in without having two adjoining areas of the same color. Mathematicians talk about this as the four color theorem. Although many have tried, no one has yet been able to find a shape that would be so complicated that it would require at least five colors for
for a person to be able to fill it in without two areas touching that are the same color. In 1975, a mathematician named Martin Gardner published this picture in a magazine saying he had finally found the shape that required five colors, and when people tried to color it in, they found that they could color it with four colors, and that's when I realized that Mr. Gardner had posted this on April 1st, and the picture had only been a prank. People are still looking today to see if there's anything more complex they can do with the four color theorem, but at this point, it is standing as it is.